Welcome. My name is William J. Rothwell, and I'm the Program Coordinator of Workforce Education. And I'd like to welcome you as a PhD student at Penn State University. And I'd like to give you a little bit of coaching advice here at the beginning of your doctoral studies to get you prepared and prepared for a couple of things. One, and the most immediate need you have, is to prepare yourself for candidacy exams. And I mention that because when you got an acceptance letter for the PhD program and workforce education and development, it allowed you to enter the university and we hope take several three credit courses, at least two, your first semester, but there are several things you should be doing to prepare yourself for the candidacy exam, which is administered in the spring of every year. And you are not fully admitted as a PhD candidate in workforce education and development until you have passed the candidacy exam. Candidacy requires you to have done some advanced work. First, you need to make sure that you have a writing sample. And that's more than something like a letter to the editor. What we would like is an example of scholarly writing that you've produced in a university course or in fulfillment of a degree like a master's degree. So a master's paper or a master's thesis or a 15 to 20 page research paper would be suitable to submit as a writing sample. And you will be asked for that at some point this semester. And second thing you could do this semester to get yourself prepared for candidacies in the spring is look up and take the city SERI requirement uh, and you can find that if you do a search on the web, Penn State website. You look for city, C-I-T-I slash SARI, S-A-R-R-I. And there are two parts to that exam and you need to take and pass both parts and then make your scores available to Lori, our staff assistant, before candidacy exam. So if you do those two things, you're, you're starting to be prepared. Now let me talk briefly about candidacy. Candidacy is in two parts, a written part and an oral part. And in the written part, there are four parts, and the written part is always administered on a Saturday in the month of January of every calendar year. In any case, there's four parts to a candidacy exam. Two parts are on mathematics, one part on stat, one part on mathematics up through advanced algebra. And then there are two parts on verbal skills. And another part asks you to correct a poorly written document. And many students get very nervous when they hear about taking a test on a Saturday, but I would tell you that no one is ruled in or ruled out based on their performance on one part of a test. We're looking at what we're using what's called a weight of evidence approach. So yes, we look at your scores on these tests. We also look at your performance in the oral candidacy, which I'll discuss in a minute. And we also look at your grades and your other application materials. And in the, after you've completed your written candidacy exam, then after a week or two, you go through an oral candidacy exam, which consists of a oral interview with all the faculty of workforce education and development. Typically you have a 15 minute time window and during that time, you have to present yourself as a candidate. You are sure to be asked at least two questions. The first question is, why do you want a PhD? What will you do with it if you get it? That's the career question. We want to know why you are here. And we want to hear a pretty well backed up 
uh, well-researched reason for being here. In other words, what do you want to do when you grow up? If we gave you a PhD, what would you do with it? And how do you know that you would do that with it? The second thing we want to hear about are your research interests. Since you're a PhD candidate, we assume you have some research interests because you have a little thing that we call a PhD doctoral dissertation that you must write before you finish your degree. So you must do some research before anyone will give you the degree. That is a university requirement. So we expect that out of natural curiosity, you have done some reading of the research literature around your area of interest. For example, perhaps you're interested in mentoring. Well, what have you read on mentoring that is based on research? We would like to hear about that during the 15 minutes that we share with you during the oral candidacy exam. If you do what I've just suggested, you have prepared your written uh, your, your writing sample, you have passed the city SERI requirement, and you have done some background research on your career goals. And what you should do while you're in the PhD program, above and beyond taking some courses and passing some tests, we expect a doctoral student in workforce ed to do a lot outside the classroom publish in your area, present in your area, pursue grants and contracts in your area, participate in teaching experiences. So we want to hear about all the things you're going to do while you're in the doctoral program to qualify yourself to be prepared to compete for a job when you are finished. And we assume that requires more than just getting your ticket punched by taking some courses and passing some tests. We want to hear about that. And if you do everything that I've just said, you will be prepared, at least minimally, for the candidacy exam. So welcome to Penn State.